Welcome to Excel magic trick number 1,343. Hey, if you want to download this Excel file and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got a great video here. We got to see how to wrap text in a formula to create chart labels with two lines. Now, part of this trick comes from Pomusco at YouTube. He just posted this video here with an awesome trick. We will see his method, and we'll see an alternative method also. Now, here's the problem. Here's our chart. And as you can see, we have our columns pointing towards the numbers. But this chart is not pointing towards our first and last name. We actually need those listed here. And we need them listed on two separate lines. Now, the first problem is how do you join first and last name? Well, we could use flash fill, which is an awesome feature. But I'm going to use a formula, equal sign. And I'm going to say, hey, give me the first name. And then use the ampersand shift 7. The ampersand is the operator that says, please join things together in a single cell. Then I need a space. And since space is text, you have to put text in double quotes. Then I use ampersand and get the last name. There I've joined first, space, and last. Control Enter and copy it down. Now I could add these to the chart labels down here without wrapping and see what that looks like. I click on the chart, go up to Design, and select Data or come down, right click, select data. Now, this is the real power of charting, because I have complete control over where the numbers are coming from. Numbers are called series, or the labels. Labels are called categories. There's my Edit button. Click Edit. And now I can simply highlight these. Click OK, click OK. Now, we have our labels here, but that doesn't answer the problem of how to wrap these two names, one on each line. Now, I'm going to show you method number one. And this one requires that you know something about ASCII characters. Now, I want first name, and then I want to join it to. But what I really want to join it to is to a line return. Well, we can use the character function, which allows us to insert any ASCII character into a formula. But the problem with this is you have to know what number it is. Now, line return happens to be ASCII character number 10. So character 10, even though that's a function, it actually puts that character into our formula. And then I use ampersand and last. Now, when I Control Enter, it's not going to look like a line return. Character 10 is a non-printing character. So it looks like it's not there, but, but it is. And when we right click, select data, edit, and now point chart labels to these, even though visually on the spreadsheet we can't see it, the chart totally understands. Click OK, click OK. Now we could go ahead and see it visually in the spreadsheet by going to Home and over to Wrap Text. Now, here's the trick that Pomusco showed. Now, before we look at his trick, let's just see if we can do this manually. P-I-O-T-R and the keyboard for line return, ASCII character number 10 is alt Enter. And then we type last and Enter. But I definitely don't want to manually do that. But if I were to do all of these manually and then come over to the chart, right click, select Data, Edit, and highlight these, click OK, click OK, boom, it would work. But I, I don't want to have to do it manually like this. So of course, now I'm going to build my formula, first name, ampersand, double quotes, and you got to be kidding me, Alt, Enter, and double quotes, ampersand, and then last name. Even though we can't see that thing there, it is there. Control, Enter, and double click and send it down. So obviously, that is a lot faster than having to do it manually, right click. Select Data, Edit, and then Highlight, click OK, click OK. 
That is an amazing trick. Alt Enter in between double quotes. Character 10, manual. Boom, we have our first and last name each on a separate line. I love hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks to Pomusco. We'll see you next video.